What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to be talking about some new cards that are going to be in the next Japanese set, Altered Genesis. And we're going to be focusing on some non-GX cards that I feel like could really shake up this GX Tag Team GX meta. And uh, so we have three cards. Two of them are some abs like late game super smashers. Uh, then we have another card that the first time I read it, it was like a it was a nani moment for me. I was like, wait, what? Did I read that correctly? Um, so some really cool stuff. Let's take a look at our first one. We have Buzzwall and all the art for each of these is insane. Uh, this guy, Buzzwall is coming in like a superhero. Uh, it looks like Superman with a big nose or something. <laughs> but all right, let's take a look. What does Buzzwall do? Where is my mouse? There we go. So Buzzwall. He is not GX, so he's only coming in 130 HP. But this guy can pack quite a punch for a non GX Pokemon. So he is an Ultra Beast, or so ability Beast Burst. This is insane. This Pokemon's attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's active, uh, to each of your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card you have already taken. So by this is a late game hit, late hitter. Uh, that means when you are close to finishing the game, this guy just keeps getting stronger. Uh, so like if you only, let's say you took out a, uh, one of his tag team GX's, that's like plus 60 damage. Uh, so his attack isn't anything crazy, so it's only 60 damage, but it's only a grass and a colorless. It does heal 30. I feel like the heal 30 is kind of cool. Maybe it'll uh, put you out of range of some stuff, but I don't think it's that relevant. I feel like as you're getting closer to wrapping up the match, let's say you only have two prizes left, this thing just packs so much punch for not a lot of energy and you know especially if you're running all non GX so you kind of like have that time you get one uh, get a couple knockouts in that last one th this Pokemon can really clutch it up um, so Buzzwall coming in for the first one oh wait actually last thing is this card uh, I'm not it's the ability is almost the exact same ver as Beastite which is basically the same thing uh, only it's 10 per prize card that you've taken um, so I'm not sure if just giving him some a, a flat buffer is better or versus that, but like at that point, you know, it's just you're compounding the advantage that you get towards the end of the game. Uh, so that can be some like insane closers that like, oh man, I'm, 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 you know, we're we're it's a close match, but he my opponent might have the advantage, or I might have the advantage just because I'm using these cards to get stronger towards the end of the game. So Buzzwell is coming in for our first card, looking at as far as things to look out for, not JX cards to look out for in Ultra Genesis. Number two, we have Ursaring. <laughs> first off, look at this art. This is amazing. Uh, this is this is art to me. Um, a lot of times I'm not terribly crazy about things that are like 3d animation kind of things like but uh this one i really like this reminds me of kung fu panda like it's not a panda but the art style of art like the 3d animation just really reminds me of that movie <laughs> it is a bear too um so we got uh ursa ring so coming in colorless obviously 140 hp for Ur ursa ring that's not that's not a lot um but you know for non gx's Getting like to that 200, 200 mark is a real challenge, especially if it's only stage one. So it is a stage one though. Uh, for a double color sense, you could do straight up 50 damage. Okay, sure. Like if that's all I can do, that's not the end of the world. But heavy hold, I find to be a very interesting card. 120 damage. The defending Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. That is crazy. Uh, if so the, you know, it took me a couple of seconds like, oh, well, all you, your point has to do is switch. Then, you know, that doesn't apply. Just same thing as like status effects. Almost everything retreating will solve the solve the problem. Um, so, you know, we, we this does need some setup. But the reason I think this is still viable is I feel like a lot of techs right now or in potentially in the future rely on like a single tag team Pokemon to basically dole out all the damage. And you know that is the only one you need to worry about. Everything else is just there for support. And while they can attack, you know you forcing them to do something with their other Pokemon. I almost feel like that's a win in itself. Uh, so just getting them off their primary one because that can't attack. So yes, your opponent can still retreat and then use a switch. Then it can attack. Uh, however, that's you know being able to do that 
uh, in every turn is going to be very tough. Uh, so I feel like this this card is does require some setup, but it can really lock your opponent down. Um, I was trying to figure out a way to make like the, there's a whaler in card that's basically like a, a trainer lock. Um, however, it only lasts for one turn, then you can't really attack with uh, this you know this Ursa ring. So you know I think. Uh, this is not a perfect card, it's not as strong as I thought it was in my head, but I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of situations where your opponent just can't work around it. Um, you know, just to list a few, like, Blacephalon decks right now, like, if you only have one Blacephalon, that's the only one you're going to be attacking with. Naganados don't do much on their own. Uh, let's see, what else? Like, the uh, Zekrom Reshiram that's going to be out. Uh, like, I feel like those decks are going to primarily revolve around you just have one of those and then you just ramp up your bench and you do damage like that even if they have two like a lot of tag teams they require a high energy cost so just forcing them to switch and do nothing is probably that's a victory in itself so i feel like this card does have a lot of potential it does require some a different kind of setup it's kind of like whether your opponent can work around it um i think if they have like a full hand they'll be able to but you know there is a lot of cards coming out that kind of like limit your opponent's hand uh, so I feel like working those in combination you can put your opponent into some very sticky situations with this card so coming in in a second card I just love that art too that that looks amazing oh, I guess it's over here <laughs> that card looks amazing and coming in for number three our last card that we're talking about today is ultra necrozma all the cards we're looking at I think they have a lot of potential, but man, these arts are amazing. Um, in some respects, I feel like the non-GX arts are getting better. In some other respects, like the tag team supporters is <laughs> the beyond laziness that is, I don't know, borderline unacceptable. I'm not sure where the line between acceptable and unacceptable is, but that's cutting it close for sure. Ultra Necrozma, look at that card. That looks so cool. Much better than the uh, GX ones in my opinion. So. Uh, this card's in Japanese, so we need to pull up some text. What does this guy do? Ultra Necrozma Dragon Type 110 HP. Pretty low, but uh, it's, it is a basic non-GX. Ability Ultra Burst. So, oh, this one's a bit of a head scratcher when you first read it. This Pokemon can only attack if your opponent has two or fewer prize cards remaining. So, while the Buzzwall and like cards like Beast Type get for you stronger, this card, over time, this card is basically useless until your opponent's almost won. So, what could possibly make this card worth it with that crippling ability? Uh, Destruction Shrine, Psychic Metal, 170 damage. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I feel like once you get 170 plus, like a 200, like at that point you're talking GX territory. So this card can really pack a punch for not a lot of energy. And so like, yes, you can only use it at the end. So you're going to need something to do <laughs> until that point. But once you're there, this thing is a constant threat. And like, let's say your opponent only has two prizes. That's like a perfect time to be using non-GX heavy hitters uh, that can really either catch you up or seal the game for yourself. So this is our third card uh, of stuff to look out for. And yeah, only 110 HP. But my God, does this thing pack a lot of punch for just two energy. Um, and I just, I love that art. I'm just <laughs> sitting here looking at the picture. That one looks amazing. Uh, if there was ever like cards that I would like to see, like, you know, um, one thing about the character rares, this one doesn't really apply, but like they add full art to non GX Pokemon. Like, I would love, yeah, maybe, I'm not sure, like, maybe there's no appropriate trainer, but like, I want to see this card in some alternate art. This thing would look, um, or it already looks amazing, so imagine what it could look like if it had some kind of full art design. So that's it for today, guys. So some really cool non-GX Pokemon to look out for in Alter Genesis. The next set to be released out in Japan. Ooh, I need to order some. Uh, I've been having some problems with the place I or typically order from, so I'm going to try some a couple other vendors, see if I can't get a little bit quicker. But uh Thanks for watching guys. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below. There's still a lot of cards in the set that we haven't talked about. And if there are specific ones that you would like to see on the channel, just let me know in a comment down below. Uh, there's still a lot of good ones that hopefully I'll get around to uh, talking about. 
Um, just so much news lately, it's hard to keep up. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram, join our Discord, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.